Mariano José de Lara, the 24th of March 1809 to the 13th of February 1837, was a Spanish Romantic writer best known for his numerous essays and his infamous suicide. His works were often satirical and critical of the 19th century Spanish society, and focused on both the politics and customs of his time. Lara lived long enough to prove himself a great prose writer during the 19th century. He wrote at great speed with the constant fear of censor before his eyes, although no sign of haste is discernible in his work. His political instinct, his abundance of ideas and his forcible, mordant style would possibly have given him one of the foremost positions in Spain. In 1901, members of the generation of 98 including Miguel de Unamuno and Pio Barroya brought flowers to his grave in homage to his thought and influence. Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> He was born in Madrid 24 March 1809. His father, Mariano de Lara y Langelo, served as a regimental doctor in the French army, and, as an affrancesado, was compelled to leave the peninsula with his family in 1812. In 1817 Lara returned to Spain, knowing less Spanish than French. His nature was disorderly, his education was imperfect, and, after futile attempts to obtain a degree in medicine or law, he entered an imprudent marriage at the age of 20, broke ties with his relatives, and became a journalist. On 27 April 1831 he produced his first play, No Mas Mastador, based on two pieces by Scribe and de Yelifuoy. On 24 September 1834 he produced Macias, a play based on his own historical novel, El Doncel de Don Enrique el Doliente On 13 August 1829, Lara married Josefa Wetor at Velasco. They had a son and two younger daughters, but their marriage did not go well. He discovered that his third child, whom later notoriously became the lover of King Armadeus, was not his exposing infidelity in their marriage. Lara divorced his wife shortly afterward. In 1833, Lara worked translating French theatre plays for Juan Grimaldi, and even began writing his own. This year was also crucial because he met Dolores Armillo, a married woman who had already had a son. They began a relationship, even though they were both married. The drama and novel were interesting as experiments, but Lara was essentially a journalist, and the increased liberty of the press after the death of Ferdinand VII gave his caustic talent an ampler field. He was already famous under the pseudonyms of Juan Pérez de Munguia and Figaro which he used in El Pobrecito Hablador and La Revista Española respectively. Madrid laughed at his grim humor, ministers feared his vitriolic pen and courted him assiduously, he defended liberalism against the Carlist rebellion, he was elected as deputy for Avila, and a great career seemed to lie before him, but the era of military pronunciamientos ruined his personal prospects and patriotic plans. His constant disappointment in society and politics, added to the pain caused by the end of his relationship with Dolores Armillo, had an influence on his writing, which became pessimistic and took on a more somber tinge. Finally, on 13 February 1837, Dolores Armillo, accompanied by her sister-in-law, visited Lara to let him know that there was no chance of the two resuming their relationship. The two women had barely left the house when the writer committed suicide by gunshot. Influence Some of his phrases like Vuelva usted mañana come back tomorrow or Escribir en España es llorar to write in Spain is to cry are still applied to chastise present-day ills. The Spanish-language clone of the Slashdot Internet Forum, Barapunto, uses Pobrecito Hablador poor little talker", as the name for anonymous posters. The Premio Mariano José de Lara rewards young outstanding journalists in Spain. The National Museum of Romanticism in Madrid has items relating to Mariano José de Lara. He is a frequent reference point among Spanish writers, including Francisco Umbral Lara, Anatomia de un Dandy, 1965, Francisco Nieva Sombra y Quimera de Lara, 1976, Antonio Buera Vallejo La Detonación, 1977, and Juan Eduardo Zuniga Flores Diplomo, 1999. References Attribution This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Lara, Mariano José de. Encyclopædia Britannica 11th ed. 
Cambridge University Press External links Works by Mariano José de Lara at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Mariano José de Lara at Internet Archive Works by Mariano José de Lara at LibriVox public domain audiobooks. Mariano José de Lara in the Biblioteca Virtual Miguel de Cervantes. Proyecto Mariano José de Lara and Internet Mariano José de Lara, Text, Concordances and Frequency List Las Obras Completas de Mariano José de Lara en la Google Books, Tomo I, Tomo II, Tomo III El Doncel Don Enrique El Doliente Bisqueta de Textos en Internet Archive Miranda de Lara, Lara no se mato por una mujer, solo fue la gota que colmo el vaso.